Hi, I'm John Chauvin. I'm the Trioni Director of the Stanford Institute for Economic Policy Research, or CEPR as we call it, and I want to give you a snapshot of what we're all about. CEPR was founded 30 years ago and is one of the preeminent economic think tanks in the world. Uh, we are nonpartisan, or sometimes I like to say multipartisan. We're interested in talking to anybody with a responsible point of view. CEPR's goal is to foster communication between three parties, the business leaders, the policy makers, and the academic uh, researchers. Our scholars work on a huge range of policies. Uh, first and foremost, monetary policy, health policy, education policy, fiscal policy, the entitlement programs. Uh, we work on the entire range of important economic policies facing this country and facing other countries today. Our financial support comes first and foremost from individual donors and from corporate donors who we call associates. Now specific projects can be financed by the National Science Foundation, the National Institutes of Health, the Department of Education, or private foundations. One defining aspect of CEPR is our focus on young scholars. Uh, for instance, we support one-third of all the graduate students in economics at Stanford. Uh, another big program for us is our postdoc program where we hire uh, people who have just finished their PhDs. Another program is that we bring to Stanford people from all over the country or around the world on their first sabbatical. These are typically professors in their third, fourth, or fifth year. We even try to help high school students. Uh, we do that through our running of a workshop for high school teachers of economics. We've been doing that for 26 years. Another defining aspect of CEPR is we are at Stanford and therefore we're involved with students more than any other think tank that I can think of. Um, uh, for instance, uh, we have a new program called Journeys of Inquiry. Now, Journeys of Inquiry is taking students and enhancing their education, taking them to developing countries around the world so they can see firsthand the problems they've been learning about in the classroom. This summer, for instance, we'll take 10 students to Uganda. They will have just finished a development economics course. Now they're going to spend a couple of weeks in Uganda. Uh, we've done that in India for several years in a row. And so we think this really enhances the Stanford education. Another aspect of students is that we're involved with the public policy program in a close partnership. They're in our own uh, building. We disseminate our research in several uh, ways. Uh, one way is we publish monthly a, a six to eight page policy brief uh, that describes uh, an important economic policy that is being worked on in the Institute. We uh, video our conferences and meetings and put them up on the website and put them up on YouTube. And in addition, we have a monthly newsletter, and then we have a discussion paper series. There's lots of ways to keep track of what CEPR is doing. CEPR reaches out to its supporters in a number of ways. We have monthly associates meetings. Uh, for instance, recently we had Erskine Bowles of the Fiscal Commission telling us about the need to address our long-term budget problems. Then we have an annual economic summit, which is a day-long event. Uh, which brings together some of the best economists and business leaders and policy makers. I, I think it's a terrific event. We just had our 10th annual such event. Uh, and then the Stanford Center on International Development, which is part of CEPR, uh, holds conferences on India and China. And we do those conferences not only here at Stanford, but in India and in China. When the opportunity arises to work with other quality institutions, CEPR goes for it. We had a, a great conference on comprehensive tax reform. Uh, we're working now on a conference on cybersecurity. We have an annual conference on the issues facing the American West. We believe that we can leverage our impact by working with other great institutions. CEPR is extremely proud to award the CEPR Prize every other year. The idea of the prize was that of George Shultz, the former Secretary of Treasury, who you may know as the former Secretary of State. The prize honors those who have made lifetime contributions to improved economic policy. The first two winners of the prize were Paul Volcker and Martin Feldstein. 
The next economic prize, or CEPR economic prize, will be awarded in 2014. You can see CEPR is a busy place. You could use this website to gain more information about what I've been talking about. Better yet, you can become an associate and participate with us and come to our events. See you there.